Beloved intercessor, congratulations. Today we are reaching level seven of, on financial progress, which is contentment. This is probably the most important. This applies when you, you, are, uh, you have little or you have much. I remember my wife in the first years of marriage, she had financial anxiety because we were always on supernatural provision more than any other higher level. And then um, she began to complain a lot. I remember the day I said, you're acting like a pagan. And apparently the Lord worked through that because then she started growing silent. No, no more complaints, but that was not enough. Then she started trusting the Lord and we began to see miracles. So, and of course, I share this testimony that she shares publicly and with her authorization, just in case you wonder, okay? Smile, Jesus loves you. So contentment, this works at any level. This is true joy. This is a, an attitude of gratitude to the Lord. First Timothy 6, 6 to 10, it says, true godliness with contentment is itself great wealth. And then it says, verse 8, So if we have enough food and clothing, let us be content. But people who long to get rich, it, they fall into temptation and in many foolish and harmful desires. For the love of money, it doesn't say money, but the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. And some people craving money is not having a purpose and a goal to serve the Lord and to uh, enhance the Great Commission. No, they crave for money. They have wandered from the true faith and pierced themselves with many sorrows. So I have an encouragement to you. In Philippians chapter 4, Paul says that we can learn to be content. Instead of be nagging about finances, we can learn at any level to be content. It says, not that I have, not that I was ever in need, Verse 11, for I have learned how to be content with whatever I have. May the Lord bless you and may we apply these seven principles to our home finances even beginning this week. God bless you.